Good morning and welcome um, to morning prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church of Maguanago uh, for Monday, June 29th. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. God is our refuge and our strength and ever-present help in trouble. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Jesus invites you, come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. Keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. Into your hands I commend my body and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the wicked foe may have no power over me. Amen. In our worship this uh, weekend, we consider the, the prodigal son and really the three main characters in, in the prodigal, the parable of the prodigal son, um, is that of a loving father, is that of a rebellious young son, and is that of a self-righteous older son. And I think about those who gather for worship, um, the attitudes um, that inflict our, uh, come from our sinful nature, um, if you will, the attitude of uh, casting away God's uh, blessings towards us, the attitude of living wild and recklessly, uh, abandoning his love, that like the, old, the younger son, or the attitude of the older son who looks down our noses at others and why can't they get their act together? like we seemingly have our act together. It got me thinking um, about um, how we approach worship and the loving Father that is there to meet us and greet us. For our devotions this week, then, I just wanted to focus on five things that happen um, when we come to worship in a, in a normal divine service. The five songs or text of the um, liturgy that has been uh, used in various forms um, throughout the history of the Christian church. Um, this morning, <clears throat> the first words are a simple cry to God. Um, Kyrie eleison, uh, English, Lord have mercy. In our current hymnal, it's used in two different ways. Sometimes we say, Lord have mercy, after our confession of sins, before the pastor pronounces the word of absolution um, or forgiveness. Um, but traditionally, and um, in some services in our new hymnal, um, it comes after the absolution. So, so think about this progression. We come into the presence of God. He reminds us uh, with his name that we are baptized into the family. <clears throat> we say to him, we don't belong to the family, not by nature um, and not by our actions. Our, actually, this past week, our thoughts, our words, and our deeds have proven it again, Lord, that we do not deserve to be called your child. His answer then is Jesus. His answer then is I know. His answer then is I have sent my dear son, and in his name I forgive you all of your sins. In that forgiveness, in that absolution then, <clears throat> the church continues to cry out, Lord, have mercy. Um, I remember a class years ago where the point was made, the most common refrain in all of Scripture is, and he died, and he died, and he died. And so the common, most common refrain in the church's worship has to be, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> even as a forgiven child of God, even with the last thing stuffed into our ears in the service of, you are forgiven, the next thing out of our lips Lord, I still need your mercy. So this is what we pray. This is from the service of word and sacrament. See how timely this prayer is. For all that we need in life, and for the wisdom to use all your gifts with gratitude and joy, hear our prayer, O Lord. And the congregation cries out, Lord, have mercy. All that we receive from you, dear Lord, 
uh, physical and spiritual blessings, that we would receive them and use them with thanksgiving and joy. Lord, let that fill our day. Lord, have mercy. For the steadfast assurance that nothing can separate us from your love, and for the courage to stand firm against the assaults of Satan and every evil, hear our prayer, O Christ. How much is there that would separate us from his love? How much is there that would cause us not to stand firm? The assaults of Satan and every evil. We continue to cry out, Lord, have, have mercy on us. Let Romans 8 continue to ring in our ears that nothing in all of creation will separate us from your love. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. For the well-being of your holy church in all the world, and for those who offer here their worship and praise. Hear our prayer, O Lord. The Lord Jesus promises where two or three gather, there he is with them. And yet we know that throughout this world, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, that the Lord would bless the church with well-being, that he be with brothers and sisters who are facing persecution and trials and troubles of all kind throughout the world and those who call St. John's Lutheran Church their home. Lord, have mercy on your church. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy is a prayer that the Christian offers. It is a daily prayer for in the mercy of God and by his forgiving love and Christ alone do we live and move and have our being. Lord, have mercy on us. In the name of Jesus, amen. <clears throat> In the morning, O Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to this new day. Defend us with your mighty power, and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger. And in all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.